What's up, YouTube? Um, it's Nick. Um, I've seen a lot of videos on YouTube that a lot of people are showing off their like home recording studios. So I want to be one of those few and do it. And I'll show you what I got. Um, let's start with the bedroom side. See my bed. Uh, uh, present my girlfriend gave me for my birthday. My ukulele. Can't forget that. Uh, some cameras. Um, yeah, obviously you know that I'm recording from my iPhone 4. Uh, a couple headphones. Tractor LG. Um, my TV. Watch some of that direct TV. Uh, my own Wi-Fi network. Uh, but let's get to the studio part, which is in the important part. So, the starter of everything, oh, my chair, starter of everything for every home recording studio is the interface. I got the M Audio Fast Track Pro. Um, these are XLR inputs, also instrument inputs. Uh, using phantom powered, so you can the red light. Uh, yeah, so phantom powered. Um, Line 2's plugged into my SM57 Sure uh, instrument microphone. I use this for like ukulele, guitar. Um, yeah, so for main recordings, uh, piece of crap amp up there. Um, under my bed, I got an Epiphone Les Paul. Give you guys a quick look of this. Not the best Napa phone, you know, under brown. Uh, yeah, so it's pretty good. It's whatever. It gets the stuff done. But yeah, it's a Les Paul Studio. Um, uh, my monitors, well, can't really call them monitors because they're not powered. But, um, they're Sony. Uh, I don't know what type of model. I took the grill off. It looks better that way. But it runs through that it's a mini hi-fi or however you say that component system it's legit running through that goes into my active subwoofer though um, I think it's the 150 watt Sony sub it's legit it gives a lot of power um, but it runs out from my interface to the Yamaha Equalizer, which gives me amazing sound. Oh, there's my Xbox. Um, and yeah, it gives me legit sound that I want. Um, my computer. I'm I got an Acer AM thirty one hundred. Uh, I got an expansion drive. My friend gave me. Um, I upgraded RAM recently. My friend gave me one gigabyte of RAM. I had three to start with, and then I upgraded to four, but now I'm up to six. Um, I'm running Windows 7, but yeah, you won't know that because I got a whole Mac theme going on. I go crazy for Macs. <laughs> and yeah, so it's so my keyboard. I'm running a piece of crap Casio keyboard, but I'm going from... MIDI in and out into my M Audio interface. Um, oh, headphone strap. Uh, but yeah, here's a USB hub. Um, but it gets the job done, like I was saying. Uh, I'm waiting to get an Axiom 61. I really want that so bad. Here's uh, my Dr. Rhythm DR66 from Boss. Do a couple beats with that. Right now, there's not really anything plugged into it because I haven't used it in a while. It's actually kind of dusty. Um, yeah, I used to use that. I used to actually have the MIDI running through it, but I kind of got sick of it. Um, here's a Vestax Typhoon, uh, like mini turntable set. It's really legit. With it, I use um. Virtual DJ, get that set up for you guys. Uh, 
Yeah, Virtual DJ Pro 7. Um, I don't know if I got anything. Let's see if I can pull up a track real quick. Uh, whoa, okay. First track I see, I guess. Oops. Uh, yeah, it gets the job done. That runs through a USB only into the into the hub, then into my computer. But um, turn these up. Ooh. But yeah, those are legit. Um, speakers hit hard. With that, I got a Logitech 5.1 stereo. Uh, they're center, left, right, um, um, right back, and then left rear also. And uh, oh. Most important part I missed, microphone. Um, it's on the stand. This is my little recording booth, my closet. Little lamp up there, and I padded it with some thick blanket. Um, got a sure popper stopper in front of it. The MXL 990 microphone, Phantom Power. Did I even say anything about? It? I don't even know. I don't remember. But I made my own music stand. Uh, Hasa. Stereo um, studio headphones, I guess. They're legit. I work with a lot of a lot of headphones, just like so you know, see different different sounds, see what I get the best sound out of. But mostly, I just work with the studio monitors. And then, but I mainly record with my in ear in ear headphones, Skull Candies. Not the best, but they're great. But I like to isolate the sound around me. And I don't really need uh, foam padding around my room because it's kind of isolated already. The bed and the floor and everything. Um, but other than that, it's pretty good. Um, what else am I missing? So you've seen pretty much the booth. Oh yes, software. Um, let me close Virtual DJ for a second. Uh, I use Reason 5. Right, let me turn off the light. I use Reason 5, version 5, to make my beats. I open, this is one of my failed attempts to dubstep. I'll play this for, real quick for you guys. The subwoofer is kicking in pretty hard, and it's at a low volume right now. Right, watch the EQ go up. Yeah, but that's pretty much my little failed attempt to dubstep. Yeah, it's pretty legit, but uh. Show you an instrument that I got done a while back. Um, instrumental. Uh, call this one Reason. Uh, it's running through this. My keyboard pretty much runs everything. I'll just go right to the chorus. I love Thor. If you got Thor, that's the way to go. Here, I'll show you another instrumental that I worked on. 
Um, we haven't wrote anything to it yet. Uh, I'll show you that reason one in a sec. Actually pulled up to the other software that I used to record with. But here's a instrumental that I worked on. Um, there's a lot of Thor patches. A lot. As you can see, Thor, 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 Thor. I love Thor. Uh, but um, looking to write for this one. <laughs> That's instrumental that I made. Um, but I'll pull up Reaper. This is the main program I use to record with. It's amazing. I love this program. Oh, Reason's already pulled up. Um, I'll just show you a little sneak peek of it. We haven't completely released it yet. I'll start from... That's the instrumental you heard at first. Then we'll go right to her verse. And there's Daniel. So there's one of our newest tracks. Amazing Reaper. So you guys got a sneak peek of that. Um, if you guys want to listen to our music, you can actually hit us up at our website. It's flow.ucos.com. Like that. P H L O dot U C O Z dot com. See me first. Hit us up at our website. You'll actually hear a preview, a snippet of reason as soon as you get to the website. And yeah. So you've seen pretty much my room, home recording studio, and pretty much anything else. Uh, so. I guess, uh, comment, rate, subscribe. Much appreciated. And, uh, see you guys another time. Right? Deuces. <laughs>